Huge difference between her two sons, both traumatized by her death and way to honor her memory. Right. Hey everyone, so I'm trying to create a screen now which is accessible to both platforms. So this is my new look. <laughs> and, and, and you know what? You're never gonna get a deep dive with me. You're never gonna get this intense, all oh, this has happened, this is brand new. You're never gonna get that. You're just gonna get an observation, an opinion, a feeling. A feeling that I gauge when I see a certain post and I feel a kind of way. And this post, this comment is on. I can't stitch because the music continues when I try to. And it's the post where Paula M has found the old statements that William released following the Panorama investigation. And it's William on a, on, on a stage basically explaining his hurt and his pain and the damage that was caused that day to his mom and the paranoia that they put her through and how he hurt too and in that you know small piece that small statement you see and you feel you feel a son's pain and that's enough you know that small snippet of William stepping out and calling out the BBC was so much <laughs> so powerful being vulnerable for a minute or so to explain his pain and his woes and his disgust at how they treated his mom in that way and here's the difference you know you've got two sons born into a monarchy into a palace to Charles and Diana we watch those two sons be loved and adored by both their parents. We also watch that tragic day across the country far and wide when the news broke that she had lost her life in that way. Instantly transporting our hearts and our minds to William and Harry. <laughs> the people's princes an extension of the people's princess. In, in, in this, in watching them both, both, because they both lost their mom in that way. And here's the difference, you know, you've got two avenues you can go down where you can make that loss and you can grow past that choosing healing and kind and acceptance and understanding and not letting that mar your future life taking you away from your children wrapped up in that pain that spiral William with Catherine by his side has had the biggest round of healing you could ever even dream to create that home that safe space with his wife for his children whilst also battling the monarchy, his position, his role, the press, the pap shots, we've seen it. We've seen him on bike rides with his children, the same bike rides we watch with Charles, Harry and William, carrying on the good of what he had in giving that back to his children. We have watched William grow beyond that tragedy and only speak of his mom's name in a positive way for all that she had created all that she gave, her legacy, he chose that way. And we've got Harry, a broken prince, all the same, you know, lost his mom in that same way. He's chose to attack and be angry and, and, and do all what he's done with his wife's support. There don't seem to be a lot of healing calling out the media in such a different way. It's not impactful. It doesn't shine a light on the plight. And it was never going to do that the minute he signed his own contracts to put in black and white words on paper in the same way as the media do. Causing damage, divide and pain. His own books, contracts, speaking on sofas. He lost 
that impact, he lost, <laughs> he lost the support of the people when he sat on a stage and continued to behave in the same way as the media. The people wanted Harry to get freedom when he left this country. I genuinely believe that. We were happy for him to go because we knew. We knew that the media... But as I look at him at Formula One and how we've heard constantly on a loop about how the flash of the camera, the, the lens and how it takes him back to his mom's end. And you see him smiling and happy, almost arrogant to be there. With no children by his side, not carrying on that same cycle like we see William on a bike ride, his children by his side. And you think, he could have chose freedom, but he's chose to take, in my opinion, obviously, because it's all my observations of how I feel of what I see. He's chose to take being a victim of that loss and to really sit amongst it and use that loss to project so much hate, like a justification for his behavior in this way, by tackling the media in the same way he brought pen to paper. You can't preach out of what it is and how wrong it is when you yourself <laughs> chose to do that to the ones that were there to protect, to love, to help you flourish, to help you grow, who took you on bike rides. The ones who really know, you know? So this has turned into a bit of a ramble, but it's just when you see William's moment, a moment of calling out and expressing his pain, then simply going away to heal again. Then you see Harry calling out then going out, then calling out. He lost it in translation. It's been lost with all that they've done, all that they've spoke, all that they've given, <laughs> which is their plight, their pain, their loss, without a care for the pain <laughs> and the plight and the damage they've created to everyone that was once in their lives. So, yeah, that's me. That's what I'd bring my, my opinion and my observation of what I see. One prince healing with his wife and children by his side. And one prince who's lost his fight when he made that plight. All about him. <laughs>